For sure, the brand of trousers made famous initially by golfer John Daly, but now more identifiable as the crazy pants worn by the Norwegian men's curling team. I think maybe it's, uh, it has helped with sponsors and uh, all that for curling in general across the world. The team wanted something different for the 2010 Olympics and they needed the trousers to be red, white and blue of the Norwegian flag. But the rest of the team weren't quite prepared for what Chris eventually found online. No way, no way I'm playing in those pants. Why? I look like a clown. And if you, if you do bad in those, the, the press is going to kill you. To me it looked like a drunk Dutch ice skating fan. If we're, uh, it's going to be great to win in these pants and it's going to be terrible if we lose. It was just absolutely huge. We did not expect such a, a, a rise in sales. A couple of days later, the, company from the CEO from the company calls me up and he says uh, his uh, website is crashing down and they have like uh, more hits than they ever had before. And so he said, I'm flying up there to talk to you guys. Um, and my sales increased by probably about 300%. And that sale rise lasted for about two weeks. Um, it was unbelievable. They may be loud, but they are also made with the right amount of stretch and perfect for the physical demands of the sport. The team has three designs that are worn when competing for Norway and a number of other more outrageous versions for social occasions. I think the main thing was that they were very comfy to play in. So what happened was we, when we were practicing in Edmonton before the Olympics, we used them in practice. So, I mean, eventually we got used to it, you know. The most brilliant thing we ever do, did. We have, we have a trademark now. You know, we, whenever we travel over to Canada, I mean, we get recognized. These trousers continue to make an impact and all eyes will be watching as to what Team Norway might come up with next. <laughs>